Hello, this is Better Mix with Mix Training, and today I'm going to show you a quick trick how to make random copies. So for this we're going to use a copy sub and a switch sub. So this is going to be very simple and it's going to be really fast and useful. So let's see, I have a bunch of geometry here that I want to copy. I have Roberto here, I have a pig head, I have uh, the squad and I have a model there. Just picked a few models from Houdini that I want to randomly place on an object. In this case, let's copy those to this grid. So I have this grid. Uh, the standard way you will do this is just put a copy and plug these two guys and you will get copies of that. Well, the first problem is the orientation is wrong. So let me switch to another one. Let's see that one. It's wrong. To solve that, we're just going to use an attribute wrangle. Make the normals point in the C direction like that. And they are in the right direction now. But we want different copies at each point, which is exactly the solution to this. We want a point to have a different copy of this. So we want to control this switch here with an expression, which is pretty simple to do. You can see all of those objects now are aligned correctly. So we're going to use the old stamping function in the copy sub. Go to the uh, stamp section here. I'm going to uh, enable stamp inputs here because that's a common mistake that people forget to enable stamp inputs. I'm going to call these models for the uh, expression there. I'm going to put an expression here which is going to be very simple. It's going to be rand dollar pt which is just random point and let's do it like that. So let's go here. Let's put another expression here in the switch. So this is the expression we're going to use. This is just stamping on uh, copy one which is this node there. And the variable we want to get from that is the mouse and the default value is zero. So let me just copy that and paste it here. That the expression there. Now we hit apply and we get something weird. Now we're getting uh, a few big heads there. They're black and a few uh, Roberto's there. And that's what that's happening is because we have numbers between zero and one here. So it's picking zero and one here for each point. So now we need to multiply this by the amount of geometries that we have here. Right now we have six. Let's multiply that by six. And now we have at least one copy of each one. Sometimes we don't have a copy depending on the randomness, but you can see that's working. We have a few models that are, are um, black, but that's because they might not have normals. So we could just put a normals, normal node here. There you go. That fixed that. So there you go. Models copying onto points. If you want to randomize this again, what I do is just put a sort here. This is a really nice way to get a global seed on your points. Just put it to random and then you get a seed and you can play with the uh, copies here. Another way you can do is if you're going to copy a lot of objects, you should consider making this pack geometry, which is going to turn off your um, materials, of course. But this is going to be way quicker if I put a lot more points here, like 50. And this is going to be very big now. You can see I just managed to copy all those really quick. And there's a bunch of uh, objects copied here. And they are all randomized. And let me put this maybe to 20. It's pretty quickly copying all those objects, maybe 10 here. And if I don't like the distribution, I could just go to this sort and just randomize the uh, distribution of those points. And we have more, like we have a lot of picks here, and we shouldn't, shouldn't have a bunch of picks like there. And there we go. That's pretty quick, pretty simple, and pretty cool. So that's it. All the magic lies on going to here um, in the copy sub, put it uh, a little expression here with the amount of models you have here or copies, and then put this expression there in the uh, copy sub. I mean, the switch sub. You can have as much copies here that you want to add and just change this value right there. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this small trick and uh, 
Hope you're enjoying the time off if you are having time off of work and happy holidays.